One of the great things about the Raspberry Pi Zero, besides its small size, is that it can be recognized as an Ethernet gadget on your computer. This means that you can connect to it with just a single micro USB to USB adapter, and all power, local networking, and internet access is provided over USB. You can access your Pi just like you normally do with SSH or remote desktop apps. The only difference is that it only uses one USB port. I'm going to show you how to set this up in Windows. The setup will be a little different on Macs and Linux computers, but try some of the links in the description for some other tutorials on how to do this. You'll also need Raspbian Jesse Full or Light, released May 10th, 2016 or later for this to work. I'm going to start from a fresh install of Raspbian Jesse, so I'll insert my micro SD card into the micro SD to SD card adapter and insert that into my laptop. Now I'll format the card using SD Formatter. I'll put links to where you can download all these programs in the description. They're all free. I've already downloaded Raspbian and Jesse version 5.10.16 from the Raspberry Pi website. Now I'll write the Raspbian image to the SD card with Win32 Disk Imager. Okay, now we need to edit a couple files on the SD card. Navigate to the SD card with Windows Explorer. It's boot E in my case. The first file we need to edit is the config.txt file. The file is sensitive to the line breaks, and it's hard to know where the line breaks are if you're using Notepad. Open this with WordPad. Now scroll to the bottom of the file. And add dt overlay equals dwc2 on a new line. Now save and exit. Now we'll need to edit the command line.txt file. Open this with Notepad. The code in this file needs to be on a single line, and using WordPad might introduce unwanted line breaks in the file. Make sure WordWrap is turned off so the file is displayed on a single line. Now scroll over and find the root weight command. After root weight, add modules load equals dwc2, comma g underscore ether. Now save and exit. And that's all the editing we need to do. So now we can eject the SD card. Remove the card from your computer. Insert the card into your Pi Zero. Plug your micro USB to USB adapter into the USB port of the Zero. Make sure you plug it into the USB port and not the power port. Then plug it into your computer.
At this point, try SSHing into your Pi with PuTTY. Use raspberrypi.local as the IP address. If you can log in here, that's good. You can skip ahead to the section where we configure shared internet access. But if you get this error message, you'll need to install the RNDIS drivers so the Pi is recognized as an Ethernet device. To set up the RNDIS drivers, navigate to the Device Manager window. In Windows 8.1, you can right-click on the Windows icon to find it. In the list of devices, you'll see a device called RNDIS Ethernet Gadget under Other Devices. You'll see a yellow triangle with an exclamation point, meaning there's a problem with the device. Right-click on it and select Update Driver Software. Now click Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Then click Let Me Pick from a List of Device Drivers on My Computer. Now we need to find the driver. In the window on the left, scroll down and find the line that says Microsoft. Click on it. Now on the right side window, scroll down and find the line that says Remote NDIS Compatible Device. Click on that, then click Next. Just click Yes past this warning. Wait for the driver to be installed. Okay, now the driver has been installed. The Pi Zero now shows up as an RNDIS Ethernet gadget, and the yellow warning icon is gone. Now try SSHing into the Pi with PuTTY. Use raspberrypi.local as the IP address. All right, here we go. And we're in. At this point, you should expand the file system with sudo raspi config. Let's reboot. Okay, now log in again. Now check to see if you have internet access by pinging Google. Enter sudo ping www.google.com and you'll probably get an unknown host error. No problem, you just need to configure your computer to share its internet connection with the Pi Zero. Close PuTTY. Now navigate to your network connections. In Windows 8.1, you can get to it by right-clicking on the Windows icon. Your Pi Zero will show up as a connection here. In my case, it's recognized as Ethernet 2. The connection will probably say, Unidentified Network RNDIS Ethernet Gadget. Now you want to decide how you want your Pi to connect to the Internet. I'll be sharing my computer's Wi-Fi connection with my Pi, so I need to set up sharing on my computer's Wi-Fi connection. But you could also do it over Ethernet. Right-click on the connection you want the Pi to connect over, and select Properties. Then click on the Sharing tab. Now check the box for Allow Other Network Users to Connect Through This Computer's Internet Connection. Then, under the drop-down menu, choose the name of the connection given to your Pi. In my case, it's Ethernet 2. Now click OK. Now use PuTTY to SSH into the Pi with raspberrypi.local.
and reboot the Pi so it'll connect to your computer's network after it boots up. Log back in again. Now ping Google again. And we've got an internet connection. If you want to access the Raspbian desktop, we just need to install a remote desktop server on the Pi. There are lots of different programs out there, but I like XRDP. You can install it with sudo apt-get install XRDP. Now reboot. Now we can use the Windows Remote Desktop application to connect to the Pi using raspberrypi.local. And here's the Raspbian desktop. It's such an easy way to connect to your Pi Zero. I definitely recommend setting this up. All you have to do is plug it in your computer's USB port and log in. It makes the Pi really portable. And that's all there is to it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to like it and subscribe if you liked it. See you later.